If you're thinking about a day trip from Paris, then Claude Monet's home at Giverny may be a good option for you. And in today's video, we'll give you all the details you need to choose. We'll tell you how to get there, what to expect, and we'll show you the gardens and lily pond that inspired so many of his famous paintings. And in the end, we'll take you to a place in Paris where you can see his masterpieces on display the way he wanted you to see them. Allez, on y va. To get to Giverny, take the train from the saint Lazare station. The trains run throughout the day and you can buy those tickets on site in the Nomad section of the main station. A round trip ticket will cost $33.60 and the ride takes about an hour and a half to get there. When you get to the Vernon Giverny station, you're still not at Monet's home. There's a bit more to go. The options are an hour long walk along the Seine, renting a bicycle for the day, or take the 15 minute ride in a trolley or shuttle bus for 10 euros round trip. We took the shuttle bus. The bus dropped us off in the Giverny Town parking lot just across the street. We walked through the town with easy to follow signs. And there are some places to eat if you want to grab a bite before or after your visit. There's a separate entrance for people with time stamp tickets, but you can buy your tickets on site. We wanted flexibility, so we bought our tickets here. We entered through a large, beautiful gift shop. There's something here for everyone, and many items are very reasonably priced. For my French coffee. But pro tip, buy your souvenirs later, because you're gonna exit through the same shop. When Monet moved to Giverny back in 1883, he transformed the abandoned domain into a comfortable home filled with lots of his works. But the crown jewel is the floral paradise he created in the gardens. The paths winding through the colors and textures of the garden are just like Monet designed them. Garden staff from the Monet Foundation have studied his paintings and works meticulously to maintain the grounds with the varieties of plants and the color schemes, just like the artist's palette. Next, we headed over to the water pond, where it feels like you're walking inside one of his paintings. The lily pads, bridges, hidden boats, and weeping willows bring a sense of tranquility. Or at least it should. Each year, over 500,000 people visit while the gardens are open between April 1st and November 1st. On this mid-July afternoon, it feels like half of them are here today. Pro tip. Arrive early before the river cruise tour groups come. But even with the crowd, we thoroughly enjoyed our stay and we're definitely calling this a romantic adventure. And tomorrow, Antoine is taking me to see the big murals he did of this place at the Orangerie Museum in Paris. It's been a long day and we're happy to relax on the 90 minute ride back to Paris. Today we're headed over to the Tuileries Garden to visit the Orangerie Museum and complete our Monet trip. Oh wow. So this room was actually designed by Claude Monet and together with the architect as a specific place to display his water lily paintings. And this is, you know, like in the, in the last years of his life, he came here and made that happen because the lighting, the structure, everything about it would just, would just accentuate the beauty of the water lily paintings. So, oh, you can see his eyes. You see his eyes in here? It's like two eyes and a nose and a mouth, like hidden in there. Do you see it? 
and more. There are eight murals of water lilies in this museum, in addition to many other post-impressionist paintings. And like you can just feel the lightness, like this didn't happen by accident. And like here with the, the hanging pieces, like from the little bridge right next to it. It's beautiful. This place was actually built to store citrus plants during the winter time, like a big glassed-in place. And then in the 1920s, Napoleon said this should be given to art. So Monet came in with the architect to build this as a, a way to display the post-impressionist art for the area. And, um, and I'm really glad they did because it's stunning. One of the other things that Monet had in mind when he designed those rooms for the water lily paintings is that was a place for meditation, which obviously you can't do in these crowds, but I can completely get if I was alone in there, I could be transported somewhere else. He looks like fun with an attitude. So beside the Monet, you have Henri Matisse, Paul Cezanne, you know, many others on display here. But if you can't make it to Giverny and you want to see the water lilies, this is a great option. And if you do go to Giverny and you want to just round it out, this is a great stop. And of course, Antoine loves the clowns because, hey, <laughs> Antoine is a clown. The gift shop at the Orangery is nearly as big as the one in Giverny, but you can still get great gifts at really good prices. Mm -hmm.